Hi, beautiful. How you doing? I am going to give you this week's beauty news. I am using Ustream to record this because it's just easier for me. I really love recording it this way. It allows me to put in pictures and then talk over the pictures. So we are going to get into today's show with what is showing right behind me up here on the screen. And yes, it is Color Icon Kits from Wet n Wild. Holiday special little editions. So let's get started with that. All right. Yes. And maybe I'm late to the party. I didn't know these were coming out. Um, but it was a pleasant surprise to see them in Walgreens when I was in there on Sunday. I got a feeling that display had just been put up because it was completely stocked with everything. So I don't know how much stuff's going to be in it when I go back Friday and look for these again. I want to pick up one of them. But there are three kits for this holiday season. This display had three of each. Um, of these palettes in it. So, you know, it'll be just like next year. You might have to be running around from Walgreens to Walgreens to get all three of them. I don't know. $5 a piece, $4.99 each. And there are three of them, like I said. And these are baked eyeshadows. You got two marbleized ones in the center and then two solid ones on the top and two solid ones on the bottom. This is baked, not fried browns. This is bake off contest blues. And this is baking a cake. And then when I picked this one up, it dawned on me what those marbleized ones in the middle look like. Shh. Hello, Celeste. <laughs> Did you hear that? It's my cat. Um, they look like the Maybelline duos that came out where it was marbleized on one side and solid on the other. That's what this looks like to me. Um, wet and wild color icon stuff. The pigmentation is phenomenal. So highly, I, I mean, I know they're going to be great. They're going to be great. They just are. Wet and wild color icon stuff always is. All right. Then I went to Target. No, that's not true. I went to Target on Saturday. So I took some pictures and stuff there. I was a little surprised. And I don't know, for some reason, slightly annoyed when I saw this. A transitioning kit. Be fierce, fabulous, and finally free with this transitioning kit from Curls. You can be live free and loving it. Relax your mind and not your hair. So this was 28 bucks. That's the front. Here's the back of it. And they had a picture of somebody in twist and then they had taken the twist down. Here's the side of the package. Now you get four products, a, cur a creamy curl cleanser, which is basically like a conditioning wash, a coconut curlata, which is a conditioner, actual conditioner, um, Defining Moments Curl Release Serum, Passion Fruit Curl Control Paste. So, and then there were instructions in there for what you were supposed to do and how to transition or whatever. So, I, I don't know. I hate to say it. I feel like this is a scam. Um, Well, not scam. Maybe that's too strong of a word. I don't know. I just don't feel like you need a kit. But then again, maybe some people do. I just think these th kinds of things prey on people who are um, so desperate for instructions or like how to do their hair and they feel like they can't figure it out on their own and maybe, you know, just learning about your hair and figuring it out on your own would lead to you learning even more than just taking what people hand you. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Because then I look over and I see this. A mild strength or a maximum strength uh, Jamaican Mango Lime, relax, no more relaxer, transition to natural kit. So you can get a mild one or a maximum strength one to help you not, uh, use relaxer anymore. I'm like, really? So it's supposed to also have a flat iron solution in there or something to help you press your hair. So these are 20 bucks. And here's what it looks like from the top because there was paper wrapped all the way around it, which is one thing I really didn't like about this one. I mean, yeah, it's clear on the top, but, you know, you need to know to look at the top. Well, I guess you would have, but I was kind of like, why is this so wrapped up? But then I did see, you could see through the top. So here you only got three products, but it is cheaper. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, but I guess it will be good for some people. I don't know. If you're interested in that, I suggest you head to Target because they got them there for you. 
What else was in Target? Tons and tons and tons of stuff from e.l.f. Oh my goodness. This is just one of the displays. I thought I took two pictures because there was another display that was like massive. It was so many employees walking around so I couldn't take pictures like I usually do. Um, so this has most of the palettes and the other one had the mascaras and the eyeliners and the nail polish. I took pictures of each item though. So I don't have a picture of the whole display but I took pictures of each item. So I will be sharing those. Probably I'll just do a little video montage for this week's Home Spot Goddess show. But yeah, lots of elf stuff there. And I, the displays weren't picked over. Everything was like nice and neat. So I get the feeling that it had just been put up either Friday or Saturday. So if you're looking for this kind of stuff to get gifts for anybody, I suggest you head to Target now while you can like pick and choose. Because they had some of everything. Everything was like fresh. You know, nothing had been picked over. Nothing had been opened. You know what I'm saying. All right. This is from last week. I don't know how many of you got the email. Or, as I found out from a store manager, a paper invitation to come to the Bath & Body Works holiday sneak peek that was held on Sunday, October 30th. Did I say I got this last week? Well, whenever it was. I got this the Friday before this happened. This invitation tells you to print it out so that you can bring it to the store to get your free gift. And they said there were going to be festive drinks there and free gifts. And you could reserve a spot for you and a friend. And you had to RSVP. You had to pick the store you wanted to go to. So through this email, you would RSVP and you pick the store you wanted to go to. And then you saw the print this out bring it to the store. I forgot to print it out at work. I couldn't print it out at home. So... On Sunday, I called the store. And so the manager told me that initially, only paper invitations had gone out. So there had only been paper invitations. You were supposed to bring that to the store. It was supposed to be a closed event. She said that's what they were told. Only 11 stores in Chicago, at least here, were holding this event. So she said then Friday, they sent out that email blast. So she said she wasn't, I couldn't tell people, like if people didn't bring the email but they got the email, like she wasn't going to be like, well, you don't have your piece of paper, I can't get the stuff. She said she had 200 of the, gift kit, of the gifts, and she was just going to give them away until she didn't have them anymore. The free gift was worth going. Let me tell you. I'm going to show you what the gift is on this week's Home Spot Gotta Show. But, oh my goodness, I was really impressed when I saw the free gifts. So, yeah. It was nice. And the festive drinks were little cups of soda. So that wasn't a big deal. But the free gift, at least in my opinion, really, really was. I wish I had drugged my friend. So my sister as my friend. So I could have gotten her to get one to give to me. It was really nice. So I hope you did have a chance to go to it. Uh, I enjoyed myself. They had all the holiday stuff out. They had Christmas music playing. You know, people that answer your questions, help you shop. And for the first two hours, every, um, not every purchase, but how can I put it? For every $30 you spent, they took off 10 For every $60 you spent, they took off 20 So that was for the first two hours on that Sunday, which is really nice. Now this, I don't know, For it annoyed me a little bit for some reason, Okay, I got this email asking me to sign up for another email list to be alerted for to Black Friday deals. And I just initially was kind of like, why am I signing up for another email? Aren't you already emailing me stuff? I'm sure this is just some sort of way for them to figure out who's opening, who's reacting to the emails. But I don't know, it just annoyed me. I signed up, but it's, it still annoyed me. It also had a little ad for the VIP bag that I'm assuming is probably going to come out. Did it say? I don't think you can get it now. Um, on Black Friday, probably. No, maybe it is out now. Because on their Facebook page, people were complaining about what the bag looked like. Because a lot of people were saying that they only bought the bag last year because the bag was so cute. And then there were people commenting that this year's bag was kind of... Cheap looking. And it, I mean, it just looks like a nylon bag, but you get a full size set of Be Enchanted the spray, the 
body wash, the lotion, a full-size hand soap. I see a little aromatherapy thing in the holiday um, packaging. Plus some other stuff, all that for 20 bucks. And the full the full size line of being chanted stuff, like all three of those items would be more than twenty bucks, just that. You have to spend forty dollars to get this though, which is always the catch. I wish you could just purchase this for twenty. Um I feel like they would still make money on that, but anyway. This email came from well, this is part of an email from Philosophy, but what caught my eye was this product, which is called Twenty Seven Wishes. It is a balm that you can use on your feet, on your hands, on your elbows, on your knees, on sunburn, on cuticles. Um, it reminded me a lot of Elizabeth Arden's 8-Hour Cream Skin Protectant, which is a very high-end Vaseline, and that's what I'm assuming that this is. I really can't wait to go to Philosophy Counter. I really want to try this, and I really want to see exactly what it is. So that's one of my plans to do. Uh, that in the next uh, week because I'm just really curious. I want to see what it is, what the consistency is. It said balm, so I'm assuming sort of a Vaseline type consistency. It doesn't say you can use it on your lips. And then the next thing that popped into my head after I thought of Elizabeth Arden's 8 hour cream was the Bliss Push Up Balm Stick that came out a couple of years ago, which you could use on everything except your lips. Your nose, your cuticles, your heels, your flyaway hair in your head to keep your eyebrows in place. I mean, it, the list went on and on. It was 20 bucks for the stick, and then eventually it went down to like 6 bucks in like um, Nordstrom Rack. But yeah, I remember that. <coughs> Excuse me, that came out a couple of years ago, and I thought of that as well when this came out. So I don't know. Make all their holiday wishes come true. Bliss has their holiday sets out, so all these are 30. I want to try the two on the right because they were holiday scented. One was like wintry, uh, I guess, <laughs> frost. Winter frost is what they said. So I don't know what that means. And then the other one was kind of minty, I think. Um, these are $46 values for $29. $29. And the rest of the email, they had $48 kits plus $11 kits. And if you spend $135, which is not hard to do in Bliss, you could get this bag of goodies for free. Maybelline sent this, and it was so funny because I have had my eye on the Baby Lips Moisturizing Lip Balms for a couple of weeks now, before I got this email, and that always happens with them. Everything is in stores, and then you start hearing information from them about it. There's six different kinds. I suppose to moisturize lips for eight hours, and your lips should be visibly renewed in four weeks. Here's my pictures. I took of them in Walgreens. There are a bunch of displays in Walgreens. Were they in Ulta? I don't think they were in Ulta. But they are absolutely in Walgreens, as well as CVS. So if you haven't seen them, and you should have. Um, you should have. I am waiting for a sale. I would really like to try one of these and see what it's like. And the packaging is really, really pretty. I got this ginormous email from Lush <laughs> from last week about their holiday stuff. So this was about all the holiday products. Then they told you about all the steps you should take to look and feel amazing when you're going to a holiday party, like what to put in your tub, what to body scrub yourself with, to wash up with, even the lip scrub to use. Then they started telling you about their golden ticket dealie for the holidays. They have put 50,000 lush golden tickets in products, in packages, and that's 50,000 chances to win. So 500 of the tickets are supposed to be instant winning tickets, and then... There are 10 grand prize tickets to win a trip to their factory in Vancouver, British Columbia. So hopefully you'll survive it, not like the people in the Willy Wonka movie. And since only 500 tickets are instant winners, my assumption is that the other tickets are either buy something and you can use this coupon or maybe like $2 off, $5 off, $10 off deals. 
What's funny is I went to the website to check something before I started this, and there's a counter there. And it says 49,000 golden tickets left. So, they uh, 49,000, and then it was some other numbers after it. Um, so, they have already, people have already found a bunch of the tickets. So, if you want to get one, I suggest you buy something from Lush ASAP. Then the bottom of the email said there are 15 new products coming out from them. So, that'll be cool. Then I get another email from them today about their Golden Hollywood Party to introduce their new product. This is going to be on Saturday, November 12th to from 1 to 5 p.m. Snacks, refreshments, you can enter a contest to win a Lush, Levin's, Lush Legends gift box, which is a $200 value. You can play a golden collection game and test out their new product, which is called Luster, which is right here. It's a dusting powder that smells of jasmine, and it's supposed to give your skin a subtle glow. My only problem with this is I don't understand why it's in a bottle if it's a dusting powder. That makes no sense to me. Locatane has a limited edition collection for the holidays. Delis Des Fleurs, I'm pretty sure that's right, but not really. It's inspired by delicate roses and violets draped in sugar. Now, the product line ranges from $5 to $68. You can check this out at the Locatane website. The packaging is really pretty. MAC, of course, has its holiday collections out. Um, the first email I got was of the two, was of the face kits, the two face kits. And I think it was two. To be honest, I don't, you know what? I didn't really pay much attention to this. Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of over Mac. I love their advertising. And I love their photography. But their products, unless I'm always getting bum products, I, they do nothing for me. That compact I bought, the first thing I bought from their holiday collection, yeah, it was okay. But I was expecting way more for 32 $34. So I was not really very pleased with that. It was all right, but honestly, I don't know. I can just get I can get com comparable and better makeup at the drugstore. Like those Wet n Wild $5 palettes were to me better than the $34 palette that I paid for that holiday season. So that's me. If you have $59.50 burning a hole in your pocket and you want one of these, I suggest you try to get one in store. Because online, they were actually sold out. And then these, the Dazzle Spheres, $32.50 a piece, have mini lip glosses. And then um, what looks like a sample pots of pigment. That's what it looks like to me anyway. Um... Encased in those, you know, clear pa plastic orbs that you can buy at Michael's to put, like, Christmas gifts in or whatever. And hang them on your tree. That's what this looks like to me. Um, it's a really cute packaging system. So, there are a bunch of different ones of these. $32.50 a piece. So, you can head to your Mac counter. And these were all available on the website. The only thing that was sold out were those, um, bags. And last but not least, you guys... I love Daniel Craig. Oh my goodness, he's so gorgeous. So, I was really excited for this announcement. Next year, November 9th, Skyfall is going to come out. Uh, the latest James Bond movie. So, I loved Casino Royale. Loved it. And then the next one. What was the next one? Quantum of Solace? That was okay. I didn't like it as much as Casino Royale. But it was alright. So, we'll see how this one is. So, I just had to throw this in the show. <laughs> Thanks for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to stop the recording now. And let me know in the comments if you picked up any of the stuff I showed or if you're interested in finding out more about the stuff I showed. So, I'll see. I'm still looking for some things in stores. And I'll share more beauty news with you next week. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.